In this hands-on exercise, we will explore how to read files stored in the JSON format in your Snowflake stage location, flatten it and create a table using Snowpark DataFrame API. This video will cover read JSON file using Snowpark read API, how schema definition for JSON file looks like, JSON file is stored under partitions, flatten JSON files, do we have built-in API and finally we will see query history using our web UI. So welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this Snowpark hands-on playlist. Let's jump into our VS code where I am using Python 3.8.16 and Snowpark 1.3.0. So this is my JSON Snowpark py file. This is my connection parameters and this is I am creating a session object using session.builder.config function. I have a JSON file which is stored in this customer stage location. Let's quickly review how does it look like. So this is the JSON file. Once I get my session object, I am calling read.json API and passing the location of my JSON file. From this data frame, I am getting the schema and I am just printing uh, how this schema object looks like followed by how many fields the schema object has and iterating through all the fields of this schema. So let's run this program and see what output does it bring. And I'm just trying to print first two rows from that JSON data file. So if you look into the result, the number of column is only one and the data type is a variant data type because so as we know, JSON is a semi-structured data and Snowflake converts semi-structured data into a variant type. And that's why our data type is a variant. It converted this entire JSON object or a JSON document into a single column. And that column is represented as a dollar one notation. After reading the file, the data frame dot count is printing 18,981 records. And this is how the first two record looks like. This is a customer data where it has the salutation, last name, first name, email address, birth date, and birth country. This JSON looks more like a dictionary where all the keys are coming in alphabetical order. Yeah. As of now, the data frame API does not have any function which will simply take your the variant data type and returns you a tabular structure. Data frame flatten function will help you to flatten if you have a nested JSON. However, if your JSON is having a just a key value pair, this flatten function really is not very useful. If I try to write the data into a table, it will create a column of variant data type and store the data into a table. Let's try that out. Let me run the program once again. Let's go back to snow site. Now here I can see it has created a table customer underscore json01 and it has only one column which is dollar one now if i would like to create a table where my data is flattened then i have to create a temporary table and from the temporary table i will extract the value using my select statement create a permanent table let's do that so i am going to create a customer temporary table and once this temporary table is created i am going to use session.sql and in this session.sql, I am going to use a notation to read the JSON element. And this is how my select statement would look like. Now let's run this program. So my program ended successfully. Let's go back to our snow site. Since I have not given the proper alias name, the table has been created with this field names. However, I can see I have the data available in this table. Now let's quickly fix it. I am rerunning this program. Okay, it ended successfully. Let's go back to this no site. Now I managed to flatten my data and let's see how the data type looks like. So this is text and this is date. Okay. 
So this is how you can flatten your JSON in a Snowflake using a Snowpark Data API. I am yet to explore the flatten function using a data frame to understand if there is a mechanism to use the flatten function and flatten the data without creating any intermediate temporary table. Let's say I have a lot of file available under a particular context or a partition. What changes I have to make in this program to read all the files under a particular stage location you have to give the name of the stage location instead of giving any specific json file you don't have to give any wild character like a star let's see how many files do i have in this stage location so i have total eight files with the one single file we were getting around 18k records let's see if i read all the files how many records do i get it so i'm just changing the final outcome table to json04 and no changes are required anywhere in this file let's rerun the program so i got around 100k records and the program ended successfully let's go back and check json04 so i have 100k records looks good and this is how my data looks like all good let's go and quickly check the query history so if i look into the web ui the last two sql statements are my select statement which was executed from your web ui and prior to that all the statement was issued from a snowpark client so i can see to read the file from the stage location it has created a temporary file format where type is json and once it is done it has created a temporary table where temporary table has got the data from this stage location using the file format. And finally, it dropped the file format and then it has created a permanent table using this query. And finally, it canceled all the queries before closing the session. Let's see how much time it has taken to load the data. Again, query profile has two steps. Step one is create table as a metadata operation. And step two is actually populating data into the table. And it has taken 277 milliseconds pretty good it has scanned 3.81 mb file and written 3.54 mb file inside the table and there were total eight partition which was scanned so this is how you can read the multiple partition from your stage location you can create a temporary table to store the data as a json format use the colon notation to extract individual element typecast it and give a proper name as an alias and finally save the data into a permanent table or a transient table you can download the sample code as well as Snowpark cheat sheet. Refer the description link for the instruction. For any additional queries or a specific question, feel free to drop a note in the comment section or drop a note in my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. Happy learning and keep growing.